everybody. Welcome to my weekly YouTube live sale. Um, hope everyone's having a really good day and night. I am going to, hi Vinny, type in my email address um, in the comments. So in case you buy something, you'll know where to send your information. There it is. So I hope everyone's having a really good day. It's been kind of cold and wet and and kind of re uh, rainy and yucky here. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. Hi, Vinny. Um, I do have a variety of stuff. I don't have a ton of vintage. Um, I have just quite a bit of um, a variety. I'm showing some things that I've showed in the past, just bringing it back because there's always different people coming to the sale every week. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Carolina. Um, Teresa, did you get my Instagram message today? Well, me and Teresa message each other back and forth, but I messaged her about a, another show. Hi, Rebecca. So yeah, I I have I have a lot of fun stuff, not a ton. Um, I do have to run errands. I have to go to the pharmacy after this live, and I know it's so late at night. Um, but so I don't have a huge amount of stuff. Oh, and stuff is falling, falling. Um, Oh, that's awesome. I wasn't sure if you get a mystery box, if people are going to save them till Christmas time and open them or if they're going to open them right away. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's very cool. Yeah, so I will have some mystery boxes for sale at this sale. Um, I'm going to have a couple different kinds, like a kid's mystery box and then a regular like type of mystery box. And Norma Jean plus one is here. Um, so yeah, if you guys are popping in and you're new to the sale, oh, you couldn't wait. <laughs> I know that's how I am when I get a package. I can't wait. Um, so this is a regular um, sale, not an auction or anything like that. So everything has a set price and a set number. So if you type in the number of the item in the chat and you are the first one to type that number, then you can claim that uh, item. And the only information I would need from you is your uh, PayPal email address, your physical mailing address, your real name, that's you know, different from your YouTube name. And I think that's it. And I'm shipping from Washington State, Washington State. So I'm in the West Coast. So the shipping just depends on like where you live and how much I, uh, the package weighs and stuff. Hi, Jen. Hi, Polly's Projects. So, yeah, and um, I, I ship through Pirate Ship, so there is a discount. But if you've heard the news, they did raise the shipping amounts um, a little bit until middle of December. So if you're used to a certain price, you might be surprised it's a little bit higher than, um, than it usually is. But I try to get the cheapest shipping and with Pirate Ship, you do get a discount still instead of just going straight to the postal service. So does anyone have any questions about how the sale works? And I don't have any offer ups tonight. Everything's a straight up price. And at the very end, I usually do a few things that are only $2 each called two dollar holla. <laughs> so uh, just a few items. And then, and like I said, I will have mystery boxes. Um, available for sale. And those are always fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put a bird. Oh, wait. There, where's the bird? There it is. Put a bird on it. There's actually other bird. There's a bird on the bottom, too, that you can't see. But, yeah, this was a sweater that um, I got the Goodwill bins. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to sell this. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> All right. If you guys are uh, ready, and I see 19 people here. And if you could, if you enjoy this live, I would love a thumbs up. And uh, that really helps with YouTube. <laughs> so, oh, Sakina Marcus is here. Uh, Nor, let's see, Grace is here. KCATX is here. A lot of people are here. So sorry if I, if I don't say hi to you. 
It's because I should probably get started. Okay, so some of these items you might have seen in a haul too, so they'll look familiar. Okay, um, let's start off with some a bright a bright item. So this super cute book um, is the Fir Tree Hans Christian Andersen, and look at that retro look. So this isn't old, but it like you know. It has an old mid-century look to it. And on the inside, look at these graphics. Isn't that fun? I mean, doesn't that just remind you of kind of like mid-century and stuff? This kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, reminds me of Disneyland in a way. <laughs> Anyways, um, this book retails for $16. It's in really good condition, but I am selling it for $6 as number 31. This is from 10 Speed Press, Berkeley. $6, number 31. Oh, I should have my book in front of me. Oh, man, it's pouring down rain right now. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to tag a bunch of stuff. Okay. I'm not on the ball today. Okay, uh, next item up. Hi, Heather. Is this little ornament? Yeah. Ah, it's a little mousey. Little mouse. I forget the names of these mice. There's a name for them. Mousekins or something. And it's writing a little bird. Christmas, you know, Christmas mouse, maybe Christmas Santa. And this is like a hard plastic. It's not wood, even though it kind of looks like it. And this is going to be $4, number 43. Oh, thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Hi, Joanne. Forty-three. Okay. I see Melissa got 40. Charming Tales. That's it. Thank you, Helen. Uh, um, hold on a sec. Okay, great. Melissa got that. Okay, next up is, you know, you've seen the Kimball um, Christmas deers where these are little Kimball kitty cats. And they, some lady, oh, where does it say it? Oh, Donna's, or these were sold at Donna's. Someone painted them in 1985. So you got this little kitty cat. Look at those eyes. 1985. And then this little one. I think it's like a boy and a girl. Oops. And it has a little bit of wear. Um, someone tried to glue them on something, I think. But you won't be able to see that, really, if you're, like, standing them up. Um, oh, hi, Daisy. So these two together, $9, number two. Helen Casey, you got it. Yeah, I actually been buying, um, I was buying from uh, YouTube Live Sales and I have a Ikea bag filled with the boxes I need to open. <laughs> they pile up after a while. Uh, next up, do you remember, I think it was last week that I sold a Ukrainian and painted wood um, like serving spoon. Uh, well, this is just a little cup. And it's made in USSR. This is vintage. Can you see that? 
And it's just a little cup. See how big it is? Little. And this is $5, number 41. Put a plant in it. <laughs> like Miss Dealey says, put an air plant in it. <laughs> Long wooden handle, yes. <laughs> Hi, Moon Glass Treasures. Okay, next up. Oh, see. Uh, all right, Trisha wants that. That's Sandy Odo, forty-one. Uh, okay. Uh, next up, I tried to sell us. Uh oh, the tag fell in a while ago. I lowered the price. It is a Mother Mary planter. That's where you put your plant in Brookstone Ceramics, California. The tag's still there, but it's starting to come off. It's like worn. She's gold with the iridescent finish to it. She's going to be $8, number six. This would make a beautiful gift. Wonderful gift for Christmas. Put the. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty. Oh, Daisy. Okay. Daisy got it. No issues. Mary has no issues. <laughs> Mary has no issues. I should mention that. I will remember that. Okay. So Daisy got that. And I showed these before. I'm showing them again. They're strawberry salt and pepper shakers. I don't know. Maybe this would be better for summer. But these are from Sears, Roebuck, and Company, set 17, 1976. Great condition, no, no issues. Got the stoppers. See that? Strawberries. Uh, thir uh, whoops, $7, number 13. Ah, all right. I told you I have a variety. Okay, now I'm going to show some jewelry. Uh, okay, I have these. Oh, how do I show these without showing the number? Oh, humid. It is pouring down rain right here. Okay, how do I show these? I'm going to try to show these without the number. So these are $5. These are little dangle earrings, you know, with the flower enamel aren't these pretty and um they're just gold tone on the back no more uh, no name on them they're no named earrings uh and these are number 40 five dollars number 40. aren't those beautiful you could put those in like in a little box with some um, pretty tissue paper. It would make it a nice little gift. And they're lightweight, easy to ship. Oh, what? Who got 13? Teresa? Did I miss something? Oh, Lord. Teresa, did I miss you? I did. Teresa, your balloons, your balloons faked me out. Does anyone want those earrings? No one wants those earrings. Okay, I got you, Teresa, for the... Okay. Um, kids, Lord. Anyways, <laughs> I gotta remember all I'm live. My kids are upstairs and drive me nuts. Anyways, now I have a brooch. <laughs> And this is a very retro looking brooch. It's not very big. You can see how small it is, just a couple inches. It's got pink rhinestones and a silver tone 
edge to it. There is no name on it. It is $5 and it's number 11. And this, oh my gosh, please. I'm begging for my kids not to act up. So this brooch was $5, number 11. Alyssa, you got it. Oh, really? Um, I'm doing it through StreamYard this time. I think with StreamYard, you have to click notify me. Um, that button says notify me. I notice when I do that, I don't get the notification till like five to 10 minutes after the sale has started. Do you guys have that problem? Um, okay, next up is another brooch, and this is a big one. This is a big honker. Look at that brooch. That is it's just wild. It's as big as the palm of my hand. There's no name on it, it's silver tone on the back. This could go with a lot of outfits because it has like a pink rhinestone, a blue rhinestone, and a purple rhinestone, and then black and I think that's silver, silver enamel. This is going to be $8, number 38. I don't know how old this is. I'm not sure how old this is, but this would like definitely be a statement piece. <laughs> you could wear a power suit. Wear this on the side. Yeah, I love big jewelry. I cannot lie. Those other buzz can't deny. It's not a jewelry sale, but I do have some jewelry for sale. Um, okay, I'll show one more brooch and then we'll move on to other stuff. Yeah, total 80s art deco. Here is a pretty gold tone butterfly with three little pearls in the middle. Here's the back. There is, again, no name. No name brand. It is going to be four dollars, number ten. Four dollars, number ten. I always have like a mixture of stuff. I'm all over the place. <laughs> okay, Melissa, you got it. Okay. Next up, I think I, I think I showed this last week or the week before. I can't remember. It's all a blur. <laughs> this is a little glass, stained glass, um, like card holder. It could be for like business cards. It could be for like little sugar packets. It could be for little vintage cards. Anything you want. And this is going to be seven dollars. Oh, no issues. Seven dollars, number forty-five. fingers oh no <laughs> oh thank you i did a different kind of uh liner and red lipstick with it easy you got 45 um so i do see um 40 people here so i will just um I'll show them later, but I'll show you a mystery box. So I have some mystery boxes for sale. Now these are going to be a little cheaper because the only box size I have are six by six by six. So they're a little bit smaller than my other boxes. It looks big. It's just six by six by six. So these mystery boxes are usually filled not with all vintage, but like littles, um, ephemera could be a little bit of uh linens could be crafts um you know it's a mixture of like a lot of stuff like um 
you know, like little, like, like a little bud vase and stuff like that. So um, anyways, these are going to be $12 each because it's a smaller package. Usually I sell for 15 when I have the bigger boxes available. These are $12 each. And if you would like one, you would just type in the number 44. They're $12 each, number 44. Does anyone want them? Oh, <laughs> Daisy, you would like one? Okay. Uh, Mary, you would like one? Daisy. Okay, and Mary wants one? Oh, you've heard rave reviews. <laughs> oh gosh, the pressure's on. You heard rave reviews. The pressure's on. Would anyone else like a mystery box? If if you if you change your mind, you can always uh, type in the number forty four uh, later. Uh, I do have some kid stuff. This is uh, for a, a bag a, of little kids' magnets. These are these would be a really great gift for anyone into animals. They're magnets. They're um, wood. And you got, like, farm animals. And you have some zoo animals. I think these are Melissa and Doug. It doesn't say on there, but I remember Melissa and Doug selling something like this. Anyways, it's a whole lot of them. See all these. And it's four bucks number 15. Oh, hopefully it gets to you soon. What's in the mystery boxes? Well, it could be a mixture of ephemera, um, some vintage littles, um, you know, like a little ceramic uh, bud vase, or it could be like some little do like doilies, like linens. Uh, sometimes crafts and stuff like uh, jewelry sometimes um so it varies like a little bit of jewelry a little bit of ephemera a little bit of you know knickknacks things like that so yeah and it's not all like vintage vintage it could be a little bit vintage a little bit newer but like you know fun littles so hopefully that helps explain all right so these were uh four bucks for the lot of magnets and uh number 15. yeah um so heather with plus one thrifty she did a mystery box too and i ordered a christmas mystery box from um uh mid-century wasted and I'm, I'm still waiting to get that i think the mail's kind of slow right now in some areas uh next up i'm kind of selling these off i bought a bunch it's a while ago from a live sale. Um, but they're little Playboy swizzle sticks. And I'm selling four of them. They say play, the Playboy Club on them. And uh, they are $6 number three. Oh, hi, Empty Nest and Two. Hey, boy. All right. Okay. Okay. Next thing up is a little hanky. And this is a vintage little uh, kid's hanky. And it has like a little um, circus clown on it with little uh, circus animals and the little oh my god and the little um you know carts that would take them along train train cars so this little kid's hanky is going to be five dollars number 20 five dollars number 20 for the little hanky 
did kids actually use hankies back in the day or I don't know. Is that something that they had? Oh, D, you got it. Thrill of the Thrift got the hanky. Um, I have these cute little invitations, and they are not written in. There's three of them. It says, you're invited. These are made in USA. Oh, hi, Mom. My mom's here. And it says, hope you can come. oh that's cool that's cool joanne so you get three of these little invitations what stephanie pink elephant oh god did i mess up again oh lord help me ah you're right sorry b holy crap pink elephant yes uh, thank you. Okay, you guys keep me on my toes. <laughs> it's hard to multitask. Okay, you got a pink elephant. It's hard. It's hard. Um, okay, anyways, I got these three vintage invites. A bag for these I'm missing stuff. Oh, there they are. Yeah, you know what's so funny with the postal service right now? So I ordered a bunch of vintage cards and stuff, and it it was in a priority mail envelope, you know, the padded. Uh-huh. And um it says two day priority mail two day. It took almost a week to get it. So I'm like, we're paying for priority mail to get here sooner. And then it takes a week to get here. So like, what was the point? You know, I don't know. It's annoying. I mean, I was in a hurry, but it's like, huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is not vintage, but it, it's meant to look vintage. It's like one of those news cap. You know, those been like how they used to wear back in the back in the day when little kids would newspaper, newspaper. It's for a baby, Janie and Jack, age zero to six months. It's like a little news cap and it's um oh it's got hair on it. It's a plaid. I don't know if you can see that. Blue and green plaid. It's three dollars. Uh yes, I got your box i actually got it when you first asked and i didn't notice um but yes norma jean plus one i got it um so this hat is three bucks number 14. it's for a little baby if you want to dress them up oh yeah the claims are ridiculous no janie jack's expensive oh yeah the brands on them are insane Oh, really? Two to five days? Yeah, mine just said two days, but I think it took like six days to get to me. Almost a week. So, that was ridiculous. Okay. Next up, I have these little mice. And these are hand-painted, but whoever painted them didn't do a really good job. <laughs> they kind of, I don't know. They did okay. They still look cute. But look at these mice, and look how they're stretching. <laughs> These are some flexible ceramic mice. They do not have any markings on them. <laughs> and this one, look at that. Are they doing yoga? Are they relaxing? <laughs> They're saucy. <laughs> They're ready. They're ready for. <laughs> They're ready for the night. <laughs> These are seven dollars, and they're number four. <laughs> Yoga mice, yes. You want some flexible Christmas mice? That's them. <laughs> They're naughty. <laughs> He's like, what's up, big boy? 
Hi, girl. I'm still waiting for your uh, mystery Christmas. I can't wait to get it. Mystery Christmas box. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Naughty. They were they're naughty. Saucy and naughty. All right. This is not. I know. Why do they all have a shirt and no pants? That seems wrong. It's like in the cartoons, Porky Pig. You only wore a shirt. Never any pants. Um, this is not vintage, but look at how fun this is. This is um, from the World Market. You know, World Market Holiday. It's little nesting dolls. It's brand new with the tags. Won't this make a nice gift? Yeah, I haven't gotten it yet. I checked my P.O. box uh, the other day, and it wasn't there yet. Well, yeah, it's like some people haven't received my mystery box. I haven't received yours. So I think the mail's getting kind of slow. Anyways, this retail for 8 bucks new. Um, I'm still new, you know. I'm selling it for $4, number 8. And it's just, a, it's a dish towel. Isn't that fun? If no one buys it, I'm going to give it as a gift. I mean, it's so cute. Are you going to double check for me? Maybe you got stuck somewhere. Or I see, I have things delivered to a PO box, so I don't check it all the time. Um, so, like, if it did come, I would have to look online. But I did just check a couple days ago and it wasn't there. Okay, Melissa, you get the towel. So, I don't know. Yeah, me too. All right, I showed this before. Showing it again. It's a rooster. It hooks onto the wall. It's, um, I don't think it's brass, it's metal, but it's painted gold. It's five bucks, number 18. Five dollars, number 18. Decor, a hook, anything you want. Be Hi, Laura. Okay. Next up is a early Harvey girl, and she is a nurse. This is back. Um, I researched this, and then I forgot everything I read. No, it's not a bottle opener. It's a hook for a wall. It hooks onto the wall. See? Be a hook. Um, this is a little figurine. And I read about the Harvey girls. They were a set of uh, nurses. And this is made in Japan. Can you see? It's a little ceramic, real, real small. At $6, number five. This would be great for a gift for a nurse. Less than ten dollars. You want number five, okay? Okay, okay. If I miss anything, you guys let me know. I don't want to make any mistakes. I forgot to price that. Um, okay, next up. Next up is this glass uh, basket. Green Bee Explorer. I don't think I saw that. Someone pop in that I didn't see. Um, and it has this ornate gold um, around the edges. And then this looks like it's almost like it's supposed to look like gold bamboo or something. And it's just a fun basket. And then it has a little sticker. I don't know what that says. I can't read that. Um, 
but you see the swirl in the glass? It's really pretty. Anyways, this is $10, number seven. Now, this is a little heavy, and it's big, so it has some weight to it. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold on, guys. I forgot. Oh, awesome, Fingers Collection. Okay, next up, um, you know the little bluebirds of happiness? Um, well, this is a little tiny bluebird. It's tiny. See how tiny it is? It's only like an inch and a half. So if you have a, a bigger bluebird of happiness, here's a little tiny one. Beedy beedy. And this little guy is $6, number 23. It's glass. No, no issues. I don't have tape for this. Okay, Polly's Projects. Okay, you got it. Uh, oh, wait. Yes, Polly's Projects I saw first. Is that right? Is that right, you guys? I think that's who I saw first. Yes, okay, thank you, Teresa. Teresa, are you watching Beauty and the Beast tonight after this sale? Oh, ho, ho, Polly. Okay, okay, Polly's Projects. Awesome. Um, oh, God, I didn't even tag this. Holy crap. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, next up, I have... I put the tag off. <laughs> There's a thing on it. Um, this is a door knocker. And it has the hooks on it. So it's supposed to be like a, you know, woodpecker. <laughs> and uh, I don't think this is old. It's supposed to look like old. Um, oh, that's cool. And, um, yeah, so this here, it has some weight to it. It's going to be $6, number 24. And it is it has weight to it, like it's brass. I don't think it's brass, but metal. That's a big pecker. I know, me, Teresa, I, I can't wait to see what happens next, too. Do you guys ever watch CW shows? Oh, my gosh. CW shows know what they're doing. They get you hooked. Okay, got some kid stuff. This is a beanie boo. You know, the big eyes. It's a bunny rabbit. And it looks like. This funny rabbit's name is Avril. Avril. And it's three bucks, number 35. These are quite collectible, if you can believe it. There's people that collect these. Minnie is on track. Um, another Beanie Boo, and this one's an elephant with pink ears. So cute. This guy's name is Spex. Oh, cool. A who, beanie boob, they saw it since there's a... A beanie boob? <laughs> what? But did you all watch when it used to be? Uh, this is $3, number 34, for the beanie boo um, elephant. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Thirty-nine minutes. Okay. Next up is I showed this in my Christmas haul. <laughs> uh, I am selling it. Um, if I don't sell, I'll just keep it. But it is a mid-century made in England tin, great for Christmas any time of the year. It is the brand Barrett Wear, number two twelve, and it is pretty clean inside. As you can see, and this is a ten dollars number forty two. Oh, I love Christmas Vacation. $10, number, what did I say? 
42. Okay, uh, we'll do some jewelry. Now this I think is so cool and um, it is supposed, it has like a very um, science, almost like a, something from a sci-fi movie. But look at this, it's silver tone and it has a little abalone shell in the middle. Isn't that cool? So anyone that's into science, into science fiction, I is, would like this. It's a cool brooch. And this is going to be $9, number 39. There is no name on it. It is silver tone. It does look, yeah. And then with the abalone shell in the middle, it gives it a um, like a pop, you know, pop of color. Here I have a um, silver tone heart. It's very ornate looking with a uh, pink, kind of purplish pink rhinestones. I don't think it has a name on it. It has a little bit of wear right here. It's very beautiful and sparkly. And it is $5 number nine. Yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, next up, this could totally be given as a gift. It is a the brand is brand new tags Prana. That's a really good brand. If you guys like know North Face and Columbia, um, Patagonia and stuff, this Prana is similar to that. Um, it's just a fun girly hat. It's got pink in the back, and this is going to be six dollars number seventeen. Six dollars, number seventeen. Oh, I love Elf. <laughs> that make the rabbits naughty. Bring back the brooch. Um. Okay. And I showed this in my Christmas haul. Oh, you need to turn AC on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's cold here. Is this vintage uh, 1980s uh, Christmas Garfield candle? This is a candle. Uh, I can't read. Cause and, I, don't know. I don't know how old it is. Anyways, it's pretty good condition. It has some nicks here and there. You know, candles always get like the nicks and stuff. Um, yeah, Will Ferrell, like some movies, he's like, eh, and then some movies is really good. I think an elf, he was awesome. <laughs> so anyways, this candle is five bucks and it's number one. Five dollars, number one. Oh, you don't like him either. He bugs you. <laughs> uh, I see vintage thrifted treasures for number one. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, you guys are getting snow. Uh-oh. Um, let's see. Next up is I have old vintage cars and trucks. So it's a bag of them. I love when his dad, you know, his biological dad, they look for, and he has him stay at the house. 
And he's like, oh, I need to be tucked in. And then, you know, dad's all serious, you know, business guy. Oh, I, I need to tuck in. And he's like, oh, uh, okay. So he tucks him in and he grabs him. And he's like, snuggle time. <laughs> and dad's like freaking out. He's like, oh my God. He's like, oh no. <laughs> it just seems like something I would do with my kids. I'm like, come on, come, you know. <laughs> and then like grab him and start forcing to snuggle on him. Anyways, these are some fun um, kind of beat up vintage cars and trucks. This is USA. Look at that. That Jeep has had fun. And then you got this little, what is this? USA again. This is what kids played with. Sharp edged metal trucks and cars. Then you got Tonka. It's supposed to do something, but it doesn't work. But look, red, white, and blue Tonka. Now this one is made in Japan. So it is, it's, it's plastic. Uh, then you've got this one, Tootsie Toes USA. It's missing the back, but it's a truck, metal, metal and plastic. And then you've got a helicopter, metal. Back in the day, they're just like a lot of more, lot more metal. Yeah, die cast. Oh, I know when he decorated the um, car and store. Okay, so this bag of cars and trucks is seven dollars, number nineteen. I know, like kids didn't get hurt. Pedal to the metal. What movie do you need to watch? You talking about um, Elf? Nate, you haven't seen Elf? I missed it. Okay, have another brooch. Um, it's real small. It's a little heart with pearls and a little um, rhinestone in the middle. Uh, what I call this? Oh, yeah, gar like a little garnet stone that's dangling. I know, wouldn't that be fun? Watch out. And it's real small. It's only like about an inch big. And it's seven dollars number twelve. Ah, oh, tag thought. Oh, here we go. You know, you probably could watch Elf, like if you had a Zoom meeting, you could watch Elf on the TV and then have a Zoom meeting on your tablet on the side. And then you guys, as you're watching the movie, you could like talk about it. <laughs> um, this is a, I'm selling this for cheap. I want it gone. Um, it has, it's a Michael Kors wallet. It has a little issue. Right, can you see it right there? You see it? You see it? And then right there. Uh, it's Michael Kors wallet. Yes, that's right. And this is going to be six dollars, number 33. For the Michael Kors wallet, it has those little issues though. <laughs> what are you eating, sis? It would have to be a zoom. Uh, it's brown. Well, I guess it's brown and black. Well, a dark brown. Ooh, cheesecake. Yum. Six dollars, number thirty-three. Um, yeah, it'd have to be a Zoom meeting because on you can't do it YouTube Live because of the. You get a strike. Oh, number is 33. 33. Yeah, because you, you get a copyright uh, thing. Oh, okay, great. You got it. You get a copyright strike. Uh, next up is, oh, tape got stuck. 
is a frame. <laughs> you need to eat cheesecake while you're watching Elf. And uh, this is a, uh, it's not wood. It's supposed to look wood, like wood. It's faux wood and it's carved. It's supposed to look like it's wood carved, but it's not. And it's older. Um, and I am putting, I didn't put it in there, but I'm adding this postcard. Well, is it a postcard? Or oh, it's a vintage card that's going to go with it. So if you wanted to, you could frame this card. You could do it like this and this. It's going to be $10, number 32. $10, number 32. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Oh yes, cheesecake Costco is so good. Um, I let's see what time is. Um, I showed this before. I showed it again. It does need a little bit of cleaning. It's this little ceramic mouse trinket dish. It is home co made in Taiwan, so most likely 1980s. It's got a little foam and you could take the foam out. It's six dollars, number thirty-six. Six dollars, number thirty-six. Yes, you did. You got the Garfield, I, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Thank you. Wait, hold on. What was which number was the Garfield? Yeah, vintage thrifted treasures. Got Laura, you got it. Oh, you guys are making me hungry talking about all this dinner stuff. Next up, I showed this a long time ago. This is um, Morlean's Republic of Taiwan, Republic of China, Morlean's picture with a plastic frame, definitely like mid century. <laughs> Here's the back. It says $5, number 30. You could even like take this out and do something else with the frame, or you could paint the frame. You know, this beautiful ornate frame could, you know, be for something else. Ooh, loaded potato pizza. That sounds good. This is five dollars, number thirty. Now, this is probably the wrong season, but I think this bunny is so cute. Looks like she's ready to give a hug. This is a ceramic, or is it porcelain? I don't know if it's porcelain. Is it ceramic or porcelain? It's thin. It's a little bunny lady. She's got like a very pale, pale, pale pink dress on. No issues. I think she's hand painted. No markings. And she is seven dollars, number twenty-two. You could even like decorate her. You could even like put sparkles on her dress, like glitter, or you could put like a bow on her to make her for different holidays. I don't know. You can do a lot of stuff with her. Get creative. Oh, these are my two. Now, this is for kids or for grown-ups who love Disney. This is a bag filled with different cars from the movie Cars. <laughs> so some of these are supposed to go with a, like a set. This one is plastic. This one is, this, oh, this is a harder plastic. That one, plastic. You got some little ones. Oh, the the frame of the bunny. Uh, the bunny is number twenty two, and the frame was number thirty. Frame is thirty. Bunny is twenty two. You got this one. And this one, his eyes um, are like they change. This one. This one's metal, part metal. 
Okay, great. Grace, let me write this down real quick. And wait, what was the other one? Okay, and then I don't think you were blocked. You got this one. You got this one. This one's supposed to go on a special track. Got a little airplane. This is from the Planes movie, but it's similar to Cars. This one's metal. And this one. All right. Uh, it is $12 for all that number 16. Oh, yes. Email. I'll type in my email. Hold on. Hold on. Twelve dollars and we're sixteen. Oh, thank you. Vintage and vinyl typed it in. Twelve dollars for all those cars from the movie Cars number sixteen. For any like fan of the ride, fan of I don't know. Uh, another thing, if you're a Disney fan, you get this. Oh, and they also put in my email. Uh, this is supposed to look like old school. <laughs> you know, like old school. It's like brand. It's like brand new. And it comes with this wallet. It's not. A, I don't think this is leather. I think it's pleather. Comes with the wallet. And for those two, $8, number 37. Ugh. Okay, what was 30? I see. Oh, wallet and Mickey purse is Melissa. Melissa. And then, oh, bag of cars is less than $10. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, if you win anything, please email me. Um, oh, these are things I forgot to tag. Oh, my God. Ugh. Um, I'm not on my game. I'm not on my game today. Uh, I have this cute little Bart Simpson Christmas ornament. It's like a hard plastic. I mean, China 2004. So it's not vintage. 2004, but it's old. Um, and this is going to be $5, number 25. Um, and then, oh yeah, I have, I showed this before. I'm going to show it again. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he'll love it. And if he loves the movie Cars, because they made several of those movies, he'll really like them. Oh, did you get the rooster thing? I don't know. What was the what number was the rooster? Number 18. No, I don't have you down. Okay, you want the rooster? Normie Han. Okay. Okay, Normie Han, you got the rooster. And um, remember just to email me if you saw the email in my email. People were typing it in the chat. Um, forgot to tag this, of course. I have this. I showed this before. Cookie Lee 
broached, brand new. It's like um, like a tan painted enamel with uh, rhinestones in the middle. It originally cost eighteen dollars, and now I'm selling for four bucks. Four dollars. Oh, number twenty six. Oh, yeah, the douche nozzles, douche nozzle. Um, 18, yes. Okay, yeah, I got you. I got you. I have a raggedy Andy Stories book in like perfect condition. Well, uh, it does have writing in it, though. There is some writing in it, though. But this is just going to be $3, number 19. I mean, not number 19, sorry, number 27. Sorry, $3, number 27. Uh-oh, and a, a private message. Um, I'm going to try to sell these. Was, oh, okay, Teresa. You got Teresa. Um, I have these two little books. I tried to sell these before. I'll try them again. Um, little Golden Books, Grover Takes Care of Baby. Look at Grover. He's being a good boy. And, yes, yeah, spill the tea. And um, this is Big Bird. Big Bird, Spring, Spring into Sesame Street. So these two books are $5, number 24. Uh, oh, not 24. $28. $5, number 28. <laughs> Oh, you know how many times I get people requesting um, to talk to me on Instagram? Like, ugh. like weird, weird, weirdness. Oh, Tracy, you got it. It's usually guys trying to message me and I'm like dude I'm not even gonna deal with that um what am I gonna do okay uh I'm gonna show one more thing and then I'm gonna show two dollar items okay guys um I tried to sell these before I'm gonna try again it is this fun I know and I'm just like ew I'm married <laughs> Like, do not message me. It's like strange guys, like, messaging me. Oh, crap. Am I not paying attention? Well, I saw... I saw less than $10 got the bag of cars that was number 16. I don't know. Yeah, sliding into my DMs. <laughs> oh, a girl. Oh no. Crap. Did you did you see Norma Han got <sighs> hold on. Okay, I'm just checking on stuff. Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay. Good night. Yeah, I just block messages like that. So this is a fun silver tone ring with three different uh, rhinestones. I believe this is size seven. I don't have my measure measure now. I measured it before. And then you get a little four leaf clover with um, um, shell thing. A little, it's like a little, um, oh my God, <laughs> a little pendant. <laughs> the abalone shell. That's right. Silver tone. Uh, so the two of those, $6 number no, $6 number 29. For the fun little silver tone ring and the little pendant, $6 number 29. I know. I've had guys like, I don't know. Yes, less than 10, 10 got 16. Does anyone want the ring and pendant? Ah, Nate, you don't want these creepy guys. <laughs> oh, Nate, don't be scrounging, dude. Don't be scrounging. Um, okay. All right, we're going to go on the $2 part of the sale. And the stuff I show you is only going to be $2. Okay. So, this part of my sale is called Two Dollar Holla. Two Dollar Holla. And it's fun, and you'll enjoy it. <laughs> you'll love it. Holla. Two Dollar Holla. Two Dollar Holla. First Two Dollar Holla item is this glass blown, beautiful Santa head. Can you see? He's a Santa. Here's the back. He's kind of heavy because that is glass. $2, number 29. Beggars, candy choosers. Oh, Lord, Nate. You haven't gotten to that point in your life yet. Yeah, and some of you don't even know if it's a, the person in the picture. Probably some, I don't know. I don't even want to say. It's probably the opposite of what you're seeing. Anyways, this is two dollars, guys. Number twenty nine. Uh, and I am shipping from Washington State. If you missed that little tidbit of information. Okay, next up is two dollar little earrings. These are from Kohl's, and they're little reindeer dangly earrings. Nate's single and he's ready to mingle. These are $2, number 50. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. That's forward. All these projects, you get number 50. All these projects. This is a book. It has seen better days. Oh, doc. Oh, geez. In some accounts, you can totally tell it's a fake account. You know, like some are so obvious. So this is, do you guys remember these? Choose Your Own Adventure. I used to read these when I was around 12. Like I used to love them. And this is You Are a Genius, number 95. And it's seen better days. I mean, this is kind of beat up, but it's still totally readable. It's nice and clean on the inside. And this is just $2 and it's number 49. So if you have a kid that likes making their choices, like in the book, like what they want to happen next, these are perfect to keep your kid busy. $2, number 49. Beautiful biscuits. <laughs> what? That should be a YouTube name. Beautiful biscuits. If you want beautiful biscuits? Come to my channel. Two dollars number forty nine. Oh God, Nate, you're so silly. 
Uh, I wasn't going to sell it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, is that it? That's it. Oh, you know, I totally forgot. I also can do a kids mystery box. The kids mystery box is $10. You would just tell me the age of your child, kind of what their interests are, if they're a boy or a girl, and they're $10. Uh, I was saying put them in a box, but I'm thinking I would put it in a um, padded envelope. Um, things I've done in the past are like little figure uh, little kid toys like cars or dinosaurs or uh, Pokemon cards, magic cards, things like that. Um, and if you would like a kid's mystery box, just give me the number 100. It's mystery. So I guess I could say mystery bag. That sounds weird. I don't know. Yeah, hey, if you have an imaginary kid, you know, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> I say, I don't know, ten dollars. Um, what did I say? What would I say? The number a hundred. Ah, uh, is biscuits and I don't know. That's muffin. Oh yeah, muffin. <laughs> muffin. So does anyone want a kids mystery box? If you don't want a kid's mystery box, I still have one more regular mystery box. Oh, Melissa, you want another kid's mystery box? <laughs> okay. Melissa, I don't, Melissa, uh, I don't know if I have any more. Um, Melissa, you were the one that wanted the Lil's Pet Shop. I don't know if I have any more Lil's Pet Shop. Um. A regular mystery box. Remember, I had like little knickknacks, uh, ephemera, crafts. Um, could be uh, like a like uh, linens or whatever. Uh, these are twelve dollars because the box is a little smaller. I know. I don't know if I have any more little pet shop, Melissa. Is that okay? Yeah, LPS. Um, these are $12, and you would give me, what was the number on that? Give me number 44. Was it 44? Or do you want a regular mystery box? $12. Nicky Nackies. Nicky Nackies, ephemera. <laughs> I know, I always say littlest pet shop. Nettie, you want one? Okay. I know. Be fit. Hey, Vinny. Yeah, I, I don't even want to. What would LPS stand for? Vinny, I'm not even going to think about that. I'm trying, Melissa. I'm trying. If I find any, I will throw it in the box. <laughs> so, you know, all the items don't include shipping. Um, that's all I have. I can go. Do you guys want me to show you the stuff that didn't sell? If you're late. Was anyone late? Oh, yeah, that didn't sell. Is 29 still available? Let's see. Oh, crap. What was 29? Oh, my God. I forgot to write it down. What was 29? Oh, my God. I didn't write it down. Tell me what 29 was. Nettie, tell me what 29 was. I forgot to write it down. What are you what are you thinking? Yes, thank you, Katie. Oh, the Santa ornament. Where is that? Oh yeah, yeah. That's still available. Do you want it? Oh, LPS stands for Little Pet Shop. So Nettie, you want this? White Santa head. Okay. $2. I know. Littlest Pet Shop is LPS. 
they've been around. Lil's Pet Shop's been around for a long time. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, brooches. Um, well, let's see. What oh, brooches didn't sell? Ah. Uh, uh, um. Oh yeah, this didn't sell. This was the Space Age. Looks like an atom with the abalone shell in the middle, silver tone, and it was nine dollars, number thirty-nine. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. That does well. Oh, hi, Alex. How are you? Uh, what else didn't sell? Vinny's being naughty, Alex. Vinny's being naughty, so you need to, uh, you need to tell him off. <laughs> Vinny's being a little butthead. This didn't sell. This mouse trinket dish, six dollars, number thirty-six. Home Co. You're tired? So am I. And I have to go to the pharmacy driving in the dark and the rain for a medication that I put off getting. Uh, what else didn't sell? Oh, this didn't sell. This mid-century looking book. It always has an Ikea look to it, too. But it's not. But look at... Graphics. So this retail new for sixteen dollars. Ten speed press Berkeley, and it's be careful. I know I hate driving in the dark and rain. I have to get this medicine. It's ugh. Uh, six dollars number thirty one. It's hardback. This would make this would even like be cool set up in decor or a gift. I know, isn't it cool? It is cool. Oh, because that's not very nice. Uh, what else did it sell? Did this sell? The tags are falling off. Um, oh, all my tags are falling off. Oh, the beanie boos. I was selling so much of these before. Beanie Boo, little uh, pink um, bunny, $3, number 35. This didn't sell. Beanie Boo, Beanie Boo. My mother-in-law is cooking the turkey. I'm just making mashed potatoes, and we're making frozen pies. Okay, no, no one wants that. Um, what else didn't sell? Oh, did anyone want these animal magnets? They're four bucks, number 15. There are the wood magnets. They're animals. There's a bunch of them. Four dollars, number 15. Uh oh my god, where are all the brooches? Oh, good night. Does anyone want this new prana hat? This could be a good gift. Six dollars number seventeen. You could you know, if you wanted to, you could put something here. You could get embroidered something. This says like I'm a hot chick. Or country girls rock, or I like that. <laughs> Six dollars number seventeen. Trying to give you guys ideas. Um, what else? What? Oh yeah, bird door knocker. This bird door knocker. I got. I got to take this off. Oh, what number? Yeah, bedazzle a hat. What number is a hat? Melissa, this hat was 
17. Oh, yeah. Okay. You want Melissa? Hot chick for me. That's right. Oh, my God. Things are falling. Um, this was a door knocker. I know, isn't that pretty? That would look make your house so classy looking. Wait, where was it? I lost the tag. Uh, oh, this is $6, number 24. Oh, the tag fell off. Oh. <laughs> You're a hot chick. Yeah, Kim. <laughs> That's a big knocker. Oh my God. I didn't say knockers. I said knocker. Just one knocker. <laughs> one knocker's big, one knocker's small. <laughs> oh, wait. Number Daisy, number 19 and 12. Let's see. Uh, oh, the pearl heart with the garnet. You want that, Daisy? And 19. Oh, the uh, 19 was a vintage um, metal cars and stuff. Yes, okay. Hot chick, hot chick. Oh, <laughs> that's like, I'm just saying hi. Um. Oh, cookie leaf roach. This didn't sell. This is four bucks, number 26. It's a brooch. It's a brooch. Oh, no problem, Daisy. Um, what did I say the price? Four bucks, number 26. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sorry. Oh, the floral earrings. Everything's buried. Hold on. Oh, these didn't sell. Okay, these didn't sell. Um, these are floral earrings. They were five dollars, number forty. $5, number 40. You want to see Alex and Dee together? Oh, that would be fun. Alex, are you and Dee having a sale together? I don't know if I've heard about that. Is that something new? Or are you guys thinking about it? Um, these little vintage your invited cards were three for three dollars, number twenty-one. Three of them. And they are not written in. All right, guys. Well, I don't think we show any more because I have to get going. Um oh, Mary, you want twenty-one? Okay. Oh, things are wishing for Stephanie. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I I love co-hosting with other people. So I've co-hosted with Mary before and I've co-hosted with Heather before and it's a lot of fun. I would love to co-host um with, you know Mary or Heather or you know someone else. Um uh because it is a lot of fun like on their channel or my channel. Um it, both times it was my channel with Heather and one time with Mary. And, um, yeah, it's, it's fun to go back and forth. It's kind of less, you know, pressure on you and stuff. Um, 
Okay. Yeah. So let's see. So I sold three mystery boxes, regular mystery boxes, and one kids mystery box. So does anyone else want a kids mystery box or a regular mystery box? So a kids mystery box is ten dollars, number hundred, and a regular mystery box is twelve dollars, number forty-four. So this is your last chance for that for this week. So if anyone wants that a hunt number 100 for a ten dollar kids mystery box number 44 for a uh regular mystery box that's 12 dollars because the box is smaller six by six by six okay teresa teresa you have to let not spoil it for me though when you watch the the show but i'll tell you what i think of the season finale of beauty and the beast Okay, well, that looks good then, guys. Uh, thank you so much for coming to my sale. Have a really good Thanksgiving. Remember, if you've never bought from me before or you barely have bought from me before, please send me an email. Oh, we're watching Be the old Beauty and the Beast CW show. It, it was like from four years ago. Here is my email again. Remember to email me your PayPal email address, your physical mailing address, your real name, not your PayPal name. And I will send you an invoice as soon as I can when I get all the information. And you pay that invoice and I ship your item out. <laughs> okay. I will.